Did you know Windows XP also has speech recognition? I actually got this when I installed Office 2003 and this is the very first time I'm giving it a try. So let's configure the microphone first. I haven't even tried the built-in microphone in this computer. I am using Microphone Wizard. It is adjusting the volume of my microphone. This papaya tastes perfect. Papaya tastes perfect. And now we train the profile, I guess. This is a sample sentence. Welcome to Microsoft Speech Recognition Training Wizard. Please read the text in a natural and even tone. As you read the text, each recognized word is highlighted. A mispronunciation or mistake will cause the wizard to stop highlighting words. The wizard will then back up to the last pause detected. If you get stuck on a word that the system will not accept, click skip word to skip a word, after which you may proceed with training. Although each training session is short, you may wish to take a break from time to time. To pause the training session, to pause the training session, click pause. To pause the training session, click pause. To resume training, click resume. Note that the skip word button is unavailable. Note that the skip word button is unavailable while training is paused. If you happen to mispronounce a word and the system recognizes it and continues, do not worry about correcting this. The system will accommodate this without adverse effects. Speech recognition is an exciting technology that promises to change the way we interact with computers in the future. This technology has been under development for more than three decades at university, corporate and government research labs. Recent Recent advances in speech recognition technology, coupled with the advent of modern operating systems and high-powered affordable personal computers, have culminated in the first speech recognition systems that can be deployed to a wide community of users. Although speech recognition technology has made great strides in recent years, great strides in recent years, scientists are still working hard to overcome the remaining limitations of the technology. Understanding some of these limitations will help, help you get the most out of this or any speech recognition system that you encounter. The first thing to remember is that the microphone hears everything, but sometimes it does not hear the person speaking very well. Speaking very well. Think about how many times you have heard a public address announcement at an airport, train station or stadium, but you were unable to understand what was said. There are many reasons that this have m <laughs> may have been the case. Perhaps it was too noisy or the person did not speak carefully or spoke too quickly or the microphone may have been of poor quality or adjusted incorrectly. Maybe they just said something unexpected. Each one of these problems affects the performance of speech recognition systems. Noise, careless speech, rapid speech, or simply saying something that the system isn't expecting. While speech recognition systems attempt to compensate for each of these problems, eventually they cause the system to function improperly. Therefore, it is important to keep noise to a minimum when speaking to the system. 
This can be greatly aided by the proper use of a high quality headset microphone. Ideally, just as you avoid leaning on the keyboard, you should leave the microphone turned off when you are not planning to speak to the system. When you do speak to the system, speak carefully and clearly using the words and phrases that the application is designed to respond to. If the system is not responding as you expect it to, please consider running the microphone setup wizard in addition to providing additional training sessions. You may also find it helpful to adjust the recognition options to control accuracy and rejection. These controls are found in the speech control panel under settings. Thank you for taking the time to train Microsoft speech recognition so that it can better recognize the words you speak. This concludes the introduction to Microsoft server recognition. <coughs> the introduction to Microsoft speech recognition training session. Thank you very much for your time and happy speaking. Thank you very much for your time and happy speaking. I think that was more than enough. We'll only recognize 85 to 90 percent of the words. Okay, now how do I use this? I think we have to open something like Word. So where's the speech recognition stuff? Speech, I guess? Dictation. I've already done this. The office speech training video. What's this about? Yeah, let's run ActiveX controls that can take over my entire computer. Oh, there you go. Forget IE. Microphone, dictation, voice command. Can I use like the Windows Vista thing? Minimize. Minimize. Okay, it doesn't work. Let's try dictation. Oh, close. Let's try dictation. This is a sample sentence. Period. As you can see, Microsoft speech recognition has never been accurate. Although it's probably because I'm using a crappy microphone. I actually have never tested the microphone in this IBM or Lenovo ThinkPad T60 that I got just over a month ago. Delete everything. <laughs> well, it recognized that. How do I kill the paper clip? Let me get a bit closer to it. How do I kill the paper clip? <laughs> well, I'm on a list now. Delete this sentence. Delete everything. Delete all. <laughs> Delete kill. Speech recognition blows. 
I do have a headset microphone, but I don't know where it is. I never use microphones on computers. I do use a tripod, but I do not have one of those things to hold smartphones in. So I use this piece of metal and this thing to hold your phone on a car's windshield, which sticks on using a suction cup, but it just fell off. And this thing is still recognizing what I'm saying. I don't have much else to say. This was my first time trying speech recognition in Windows XP using Office 2003. And it also installed some additional voices. You know, Windows XP has Microsoft Sam, but it also had these two voices. Selected Lernerton Hopsky Michael as the computer's default voice. You have selected Lernerton Hopsky Michelle as the computer's default voice. Hey, it's me, Burns, aka Duck Wendy. You have selected Microsoft Sam as the computer's default voice. And for some reason, Microsoft Sam now is of lower quality. I checked out the settings here, but I don't know. So that's it about testing out this speech recognition. Now I have this stupid thing on the screen. Get rid of it. Close the language bar. So thank you for watching.